It was a dark day when a bomb went off at the site of the 1996 Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia. I was probably maybe 50 feet away from the entrance, one of the entrances to the, the, the gate, the gate that enters into the park near the sound stage when the explosion went off. Uh, and it knocked me backwards. Vince Velasquez was a brand new member of the Atlanta Police Department at the time, part of a class specifically hired to work the Olympics. And it was shocking because for a second, it's like the mind had to catch up with the body being pushed back to figure out what just happened. And then I smelled um, what smelled like a million matchsticks, the, that smell of sulfur that I think most people are familiar with when you strike a match, that smell. And it was overwhelming. Uh, and I knew at that point that there was an explosion. Uh, so I just ran into the park to see what I could do to help. When he was apprehended in 2003, a man named Eric Robert Rudolph admitted to planting the bomb. Rudolph received four life sentences without the possibility of parole. Most people don't even know that Eric Rudolph would go on to bomb more politically targeted bombings at abortion clinics and a gay bar. And since those stories are unknown, the victim stories in those bombings are unknown as well. A new podcast called Flashpoint tells the story for those who remember and those who weren't around to witness it, like the show's host, Cole Lacasio. The Olympics were something that I think a lot of people in Atlanta use as a marker in time, kind of like BC and AD. Atlanta before the Olympics was very much an underdog city. And so the fact that they even got the Olympics, especially the Centennial Olympics, was remarkable. And it made such an impact on a city that was always the underdog story, whether it was the city itself or sports or infrastructure. The Olympics transformed the city. Flashpoint is available wherever you get your podcasts on July 25th. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.